Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is the lecture number one on communication electronics. Uh, in this video, I want to cover up the electronics communication. Under this, these are the <coughs> sub title that is the introduction to communication means and mode, then need for communication, then block diagram of an electronic communication system, then brief idea of frequency allocation for the radio communication system of India, triad, electromagnetic communication spectrum, then bands diagnostic and uses, then channel and baseband signal, then concept of noise and signal to noise ratio. So all these things will be covered up in this video. This is the syllabus of 6th semester of Calcutta University. This portion that is the uh, first one uh, of this chapter, we want to cover up this one in this video. Okay. So, communication means uh, to process or establish connection or link between two points of information exchange. That means we want to exchange the information from one place to another place by one person to another person. This is the communication. It is simply the basic process of exchanging information. That means information is exchanged from one person to another person or one place to another place. Yeah, then communication equipment. Equipment means the electronics equipment which are used to communication purpose. That means if you want to communicate through any voice or images or uh, other things written, written up etc etc. So, uh, the equipment, the electronic equipment which are used to communication is known as the electronic equipment. Communication system, the different communication equipment which are associated together from a system. That means the uh, electronic communication, the communication equipment as a whole, the communication equipment as a whole can say as a communication system. And the example line telephone, line telegraphy, radio telephone. Radio telephony, etc. The line telephone originate earliest communication system in 1840. And pioneer in communication is known as the uh, is the Heinrich Rolfold Hart. Next thing is the part of communication system. There are the uh, actual the schematic diagram is like that. That means at first you need to uh, generate some thoughts, then describe with the oral or visual symbol, then encoding the symbol, then transmission then decoding then symbol to thought that means at first generate some thought or pattern or image in mind then describe these images and certain uh, prescription by set of oral visualization symbols uh, the encoding these uh, symbols inform uh, that the suitable for transmission over a physical medium of interest then transmission of the encoding system to the desired destination then the decoding the reproduction of original symbol and then so the information transmit from one person to another person then the elements of communication system you can see the information source then it's converted by sound picture speech data etc uh, this is the input transducer which uh, uh, take this information then information into electronic form then transmit that means encoding then transmit uh, after that go through this channel and uh, the, during this channel transmission there is uh, a possibility to noise of this si signal there is a possibility to mixture of this signal to another thing which are known as the noise then uh, go to the receiver and uh, output transducer which change the information into the uh, symbol or images or audio signal. So the information in the original form. So information transfer from one person to another person. Okay. So there are details written here. The information source where the information are originated, then transducer converted it, then transmission, then channel and during channel there is a noise originated uh, and then receiver output transducer. Okay. Next thing, mode of communication. There are mode is means of communicating. That is the medium through which the communication is processed. The medium in which the communication is processed is known as mode of communication. There is three mode of communication: interpretive communication, interpersonal communication, and presentational communication. Interpretive communication. That means one way listening and 
reading that does not require a response or reaction in the real time that means this is a no one way uh one way uh, listening or reading that means uh, either reading or listening this is one way there is no interaction that is no, no uh, response on the other that is the interpretive communication and the ability to read obtain develops before the ability the comprehensive rapid spoken language and familiar with the unfamiliar <laughs> contents etc next is the interpersonal <laughs> communication that people exchange information feeling and meaning through verbal and non verbal message it is face to face communication that's not the previous one and the third is presentational communication that means it's one way speaking or writing that means you know when a person presenting any any conference or etc etc Uh, in the in in a in a in a short form, they are written here that interpretive means reading and listening, interpersonal that is reading, writing, listening, speaking. Both are present here. They are speaking and writing. Okay. This is listening. This is speaking. This is speaking and reading. Both. Ne next point is need of for modulation why the modulation is needed modulation means the signal cannot transfer a long distance that's why the signal uh, modulated with the carrier and this frequency of carrier is higher that's why it can go through a long distance that's the main motto of the modulation and the another important thing is reduction of the antenna size you know the size of antenna is lambda by 4 height of lambda, lambda by 4 uh, it, it, it can be also lambda by 2 depending upon half wavelength or quarter wavelength so minimum is lambda by 4 that is c by 4a so if you increase the frequency the signal frequency is 20 hertz to 200 kilohertz you know 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz that means the audio range actually our audio range is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz uh, and uh, if you increase the frequency above this uh, audio range the antenna size will be reduced that's why carrier wave helps us to reduce the antenna size and the other things is multiplexing that means a uh, single thing that means you know the audio frequency of our audio frequency is 20 to 20 kilohertz 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz so if there are many person talking about the same frequency range this cannot traveling much more or they are superimposed interfere that's why we uh, we, we modulate using the carrier wave whose frequency are different that's mean that, that that's why the different signal with the same frequency can be transmitted using the modulation for example in the radio station you know there is various radio station of different frequency 92.106 these are nothing but the frequency of carrier wave of the radio station 906 megahertz is the frequency of the uh, carrier wave okay so this multiplexing and the antenna size reduction is the uh, cause of the modulation and to transfer the information long distance because through reduction of the uh, attenuation uh, block diagram of an electronic communication system we can see this is the message source this message input input transducer input signal transmit then channel go through the channel and during this there is a noise receiver receive it output transducer output which are already discussed before the main com uh, component many electronic communication system are thus message source input transmission which are already discussed before next thing is brief idea of the frequency allocation of the radio communication system of india that is the uh, triad triad is nothing but the telecom regulating authority of india which are uh, which are work on the telecommunication system which <coughs> actually uh, 
separate out of the frequency range for different purpose you can see there is range written here uh, so you can go through this this range and here it is this is the general part uh, using and this is the trial next is the electronic communication system you can see if the wavelength is larger here wavelength is reduced frequency is higher in this x-ray coverage uh, this radio micro radio f used for broadcast radio and television micro f cooking telephone radar etc infrared transmit heat from sun fire visual light we make to see things uh, ultraviolet uh, for skin frozen tube and x-ray to use the body's object and gamma ray used to medicine for killing cancer cell etc so these are the electromagnetic communication spectra which are used and band design and uses you can see the very low frequency uh, low frequency medium frequency high frequency and these are used in this different uh, regions this so that's it and you can see channel and based uh, based band signal <coughs> communication channel is the transmission of information across the communication network channel based on the transmission there is two guided program and unguided that is twisted pair coaxial optical fiber and this is broadcast mobile radio satellite camera etc and base band signal is like that there is no uh, modulation actually happen here the only the signal is passes signal are transmitted without modulation is baseband signal landline for example your landline signal where no modulation actually occur the audio signal uh, transmitted from one point to another point without modulation uh, 0 to 20 kilohertz audio signal and video signal 0 to 55 hertz frequency domain at, uh, at a particular frequency domain and this is unmodulated signal and pass band signal is the modulated signal high frequency modulated carrier cellular signal for AM and there is a frequency domain like that and next thing is the noise noise actually unwanted things that means the original signal change with the others information or signal the original signal destroy or distort it due to another information or signal is this noise and but the telecommunication word noise is the uh, level of electronic disturbance you can read here that gives the audible noise in the system this electrical disturbance also appear interference in video system for example white flex seen in television picture when the receiving signal is weak okay these are all the noise noise means actual information destruct okay this is the noise you can go through this and noise to signal ratio actually signal to noise ratio actually the original signal and the noise ratio is very important and this is the is proportional to the power and power is proportional to voltage square okay and these are the formula and here is this example you can see here and, and this one also so you just go through this example you understood very easily i think you can understand noise to signal to noise ratio so this is all about me this is my contact details this is my youtube channel details thank you let me to the next video thank you